Hey guys, this is Lumi Day and let's check out Amazing Weather. We were contacted by the developers for this app, I think, um, and they suggested that we check out their app. And this is Amazing Weather. So, at the start, it will ask you to find, um, like, your nearest station or something to get your location, and it will use GPS to get that. Um, there's some place around me called Wally Range, so that's what it's using. So right now it's uh, telling me that it's going to be cloudy. It's night time so it's got um, the moon outside and these random clouds. At the bottom you can click on whatever day you want to check the weather for. You can see it's telling me that today on Friday later in the morning it's going to be a little bit sunny with some clouds. You can check over to Saturday where it's apparently going to rain. And I don't know if you can see that little animation. It's showing that it's raining. And you can scroll over here. It tells you about Friday morning, Friday night, Saturday morning, Saturday night. Chances of snow, chances of rain. Sunday morning. So you can scroll up to next Thursday. And you can add city and remove cities. These let's go to settings, see what's in there. So you can set your units to either metric or imperial, Fahrenheit, Celsius. Allow animations. If you want live tiles, um, use GPS for your location. And these are the developers. What else is there? You can have hourly details. So that's quite useful. If you're going out for just a few hours, you know where to maybe bring an umbrella if it's going to rain within that time. Um, maybe satellite info. Radar is not available but you can get a little bit of satellite. don't know if you can see that clearly. You've got um, the northwest of England right here. Mostly covered in clouds. So, bring that up again and you can pin that to your home screen Put it back Let's see next Wednesday it's gonna rain I think at the start um, I think it did have a little tutorial on how to use this, but obviously because I've been using it for a while, it uh, won't show me that anymore. Hopefully that has been sufficiently in focus. My uh, camera, as you know, doesn't do continuous autofocus. So let's go back to the app. Let's set up a live tile. And then that will be for that particular location. It's telling you the temperature. And we can also add a city. We'll add Manila, Philippines. What's the weather like right now? nice and sunny and so as you saw there you can just swipe over 
see different locations. So maybe if you're traveling to um, where's a lot of people going to be traveling to in the next couple of weeks? Barcelona. We'll just add this. Sunday, very sunny. But still shows some clouds. No, the clouds are gone. So this main screen, as you can see now, allows you to stop in between the different locations that you set. I think it possibly just allows three, because the option to add cities or stations isn't there anymore. So we now only have two. Let's add a city by using that button there to get your GPS um, active and find locations close to you. And so these are the closest weather stations to me right now. Let's switch this to um, Celsius. Eight point five degrees. That's uh, exactly what my thermometer in the house tells me. So it's a pretty cool app. I don't know what I'm doing here, so I'm just uh, playing about with the animations. It's supposed to go on this one. So that was Amazing Weather, demoed on the Nokia Lumia 800.